Greetings, Commanders, and welcome back to another Kiss of War video. My name is Eagle, and we are a sponsored content creator for Kiss of War. Before we start with the video content, I want to make a quick announcement and that you guys would absolutely love. This Saturday, the 12th of December, we're going to be uh, doing a live stream on this channel. Uh, in this live stream, we'll have a various uh, activities, contests, and whatnot. You guys can participate by joining up the live stream and participating with the live commentary as well and winning some amazing rewards. The rewards include a lot of great things. We have gold, we have elite recruitment tickets, we have legendary officer badges, speed ups, and resources for you guys to win this Saturday. There's going to be 20 winners and it's going to be an amazing contest for everyone to watch, chill out with us, uh, listen to some music and enjoy the stream. So the official timing will be announced on the Facebook group and the official Discord group very soon in the next few days once we conclude uh, all the preparations and whatnot. Now, having that said, uh, we also, uh, in this video, we have nine hacks that we want to share with you. We have been playing the game for about 230 days so far. And let me tell you, we have learned a lot of tricks and that can help you in your daily development and progression in the game. And this video is all about that. So we're going to be playing a game. We have those nine hacks and those nine hacks are kind of hard to guess uh, unless you are very advanced players. So if you guess one to three of those hacks, that means that you are still uh, like a beginner in the game. You're trying to explore everything around and you've learned uh, some cool things in this video. So that would be amazing. If you have got four to six out of these hacks right, then that means you are an advanced player in the game, you know your way, and you are rolling fast. If you got all, uh, or if you got seven to nine of those hacks right, that means that you are a veteran in the game. You know exactly what you're doing, and hey, congrats. You, you already know everything about what we're going to say, uh, but thanks also for tuning in. Now, if you have learned only one hack from this video, I would highly appreciate it if you leave a like. That would absolutely help out the channel and show your appreciation to the videos and support. So thank you so much for that. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So for the first hack that we we're going to be talking about today is the Guild Donations Leaderboard. Do you always wonder why there's always these couple of names that always are on top of the leaderboards every other day? Well, that is because they are using these hack and they know exactly what this is. Now, this hack is mainly um, based on patience and waiting for the reset time of the server if you if you already know you have a total of 20 guild donations that can accumulate over a certain amount of time that time is basically 10 hours so 10 hours before the reset stop donating to the guild and wait till all the guild donations accumulate to 20. once the reset hits and the new day starts obviously we're talking about game time not uh, your own uh, time zone once that starts, you immediately use all the accumulated um, guild donations. And this way, you will start the day with a huge head start of 20 guild donations. Now, if you are lucky enough and got even more crits, you would definitely be able to make it to the number one rewards. Um, and you can do this every other day. You cannot do this every single day because you won't have enough for the second day. So you can do this every other day, but that's also great because you can always get at least top three using this method and you can get some really cool rewards, especially the eight hour speed ups and whatnot. And this way you would also probably get the weekly one, which will also increase your rewards as well. But that trick is very amazing. I use it once uh, once in a while whenever I have time to be open or be, be online at the reset. So uh, that's definitely a thing you should be using from now on. Individual guild exploit is a very important resource to have because you can get basically everything from here. You can get resource boosts, you can get speed ups, you can get army expansions with just extremely high value, let alone the teleports, which is my personal favorite. Uh, I always get my teleports out of here and it does give a huge value in terms of gold. You can get officer experience, VIP points, uh, officer talent reset, which is amazing as well. Country switch, which is high value, the, probably the highest value in all of these. And also transfer orders if you're looking to change servers. Now, this thing over here, like the guild exploit, like individual exploits, you can get just a like a small amount from doing the daily helps for your guild. And that really um, 
like goes to a very low level, especially at the end game, because all your guildmates have either very long queues of buildings and research, so they don't actually do them every single day, or simply there's not enough activities going on in the guild that you cannot really fill out that 4,000 individual uh, exploit meter. So this trick will give you a huge amount of exploit on a daily basis. Let me show you what it is. So as you guys can see over here, we have a slow build one unit uh, setup. Now what that means is that we slow build these towers by sending only one unit to those towers. Now, sending only one unit, meaning that this tower would require a hell a lot of time in order to actually be built. And all that time, you will be generating individual guild exploit. Now, this could go all the way to 11 hours or 12 hours, and then you can do that even two times a day. So two times, two towers a day, probably. Uh, if you have even more members participating in that, you probably need more than that time. But you can do that at least two times a day. And trust me, it is amazing. And uh, this is basically a trick to get fast individual guild exploit for you and your guild members on a daily basis so they can enjoy all the things that the store has to offer. Now, the third hack revolves around getting double the value for your speedups. However, you can do that only a couple of times until you max out your buildings. The way you can actually do that, if you have noticed that the lab and all the uh, unit production buildings uh, from the drill grounds, artillery, tank armory, and tank destroyer armory, uh, when you are constructing them or you are upgrading them, you cannot actually do research or produce any type of troops when you're, when you're upgrading that specific building. Now that means that at this time, these buildings will be idle and you never want these buildings to be idle because resources will not be a huge problem, especially if you're active and gathering on a daily basis. You, can, you have to always make sure that the unit production buildings and the research or the lab are always active. Therefore, when you're upgrading the lab, uh, if you wait until all the helps that have already like been established from the unit reserve center, then you can start um, you can you can speed up the construction of the lab or the unit production structure, and this way you would be getting double the value for the speed ups because that time that is required to upgrade those buildings is considered as dead time. You cannot actually do any other activities that these buildings should be doing, and this way you would be getting double the value for the speed ups. Uh, when you are trying to do that. So always make sure to speed up uh, the construction of these buildings over here to get double the value. Have you been struggling to plunder resources from other players or farms during SVS? Well, this hack over here will give you a huge amount of load speed so that you can actually plunder way more resources than you are able to plunder when you zero base or when you're attacking another farm. Now, the way you usually plunder a base uh, that has like a huge amount of resources, like 100 million plus resources, is that you send an entire artillery march. Now, the problem with that, even when you send an entire artillery march, you can still get that specific amount of resources that doesn't really uh, like take out a hell lot of resources from the enemies. And you have to send that multiple times, which gives the enemies even more time to react, reinforce that building or even that specific player. Um, coming up online and just shielding up or teleporting away. So you don't want that to happen. You want to plunder the resources at the fastest way possible. And in order to do that is to use gathering officers when you are attacking that player's base. Because when you are using only artilleries, you're not really getting that much benefit from whatever officer you are using unless you're using a gathering officer, which will give you a huge amount of load increase, such as Angel over here. She gives out 50% load increase for your troops. If you pair her up with Jean, you will increase that to an 80%, having 30% plus from Jean, which is a huge amount of load increase for your specific Mart. You also get a huge amount of free of attack, artillery attack and defense if they have like a little bit of defense left over there, which is also amazing. And it helps you out, not lose many artilleries while gaining a hell of a lot of resources in return. Now, for the fifth hack, we want to talk about the governor zone boosts. Now, these zone boosts are activated using gold that is spent from the current governor of the zone. Now, if you are a somehow a s more like advanced zone that activates those zone uh, or zone boosts on a daily basis, that could be actually a huge 
uh, problem for the current governor because he's going to be spending a hell lot of gold on a monthly basis in order to activate those strips or those boosts. Those boosts, value-wise, give a huge value for all the server. But even if you're trying to change the governor once in a while, it just gets too hectic and it does require a lot of money to do, the, to do that. Now, this hack will allow you to activate those boosts without having to spend a lot of money. Now, the way to do that is that if you go over here and go to the monthly subscription, you will see that the value of gold for 30 days uh, military supply over here. Now, this package over here gives you around 21.7K uh, resource uh, gold every month. Now, if you have two accounts, and it only costs $10, if you have two accounts that have this activated and not two main accounts rather than two farm accounts in that specific guild the the moment that the um like the ability or the zone boost has to be activated one of the zone accounts is appointed as r5 meaning that they switch out to the governor and then they activate that skill now the reason being is that you don't want to spend gold on from your main account and this way you're only spending gold from your farm account and like uh, in exchange to that 10 bucks you're paying on a monthly basis, some of the uh, like probably other farm accounts can give you resources to your main accounts from the server. This way you would have uh, your well, like value of the money is back also. And also you will be loved by your own server and you're not even paying a lot of money for that. So that's a just a trick for the governor or for the guild that is holding the government in order to activate zone boosts with the cheapest way possible. For the sixth trick that I want to give you out today is basically joining an advanced and high-powered alliance in your server. Sometimes when you are a new server, especially a not developed one, you'd see that there are those guilds that have millions of power and they have like these huge whales that are spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on a weekly basis. Now, those whales do not only, like you can't only uh, just benefit from them as a wall for your guild, you can also benefit from the guild gifts that they provide on a daily basis. The guild gifts aren't actually showing up because I just restarted the game, but trust me, when there are events over here, we have about 15 to 20 whales in our guild, and they do spend a lot. They can max out uh, a package every single event when it comes out, and those guys are amazing because not only they are benefiting themselves from the huge packages they're they're getting, they're also benefiting the guild because the like the rewards, the diamond chests, and the gold chests that they are dropping can get you a hell lot of speed ups, resources, even gold sometimes. So being in that guild is amazing. Now the way to actually be in that guild is that you can offer resources for those whales from your farm account. If you are active enough on a daily basis, you can gather a hell lot of resources. And if you don't know exactly how to gather a hell lot of resources on a daily basis, I'll leave a card at the top where we did a full farm uh, or gathering uh, like experience where you can actually gather more than 25 millions on a daily basis. And if you do those tricks, then you can easily get in a top guild in your server by offering some resources on a weekly basis because those whales really require those resources because you're doing those heavy uh, structures and researches and they will let you in their guild. You will benefit from the speed ups and the very fast growth of the guild and they will benefit from their resources until eventually you become a permanent member and uh, a stronger member in their guild and like you can establish from that point on. Now the seventh hack revolves around getting millions, and I'm not kidding, millions of experience for officers, experience points for officers on a daily basis. Now, how can you do that? Well, if you look over here, you would see those Red, uh, Red Wolf Legion uh, fellas over here. These guys drop a hell lot of experience. And trust me when I tell you, when these are level three or level four, they drop way more experience than uh, like normal invaders do. Now, if you, these guys spawn four times a day, every six hours, these, these guys spawn. So if you could send out five full marches every time these spawn and coordinate with your guild or with the server, which we currently do right now, on how on a certain path around the cities where you can actually 
uh, take out those invaders. So we have the path like starting off with the government and then going, for example, to Rome, Burdax with like these cities. And then we have drawn like a simple path for uh, level two cities. Now we do that a lot of times on a daily basis. If you can actually do that two times on a daily basis, that's more than enough because being up uh, four times on di uh, like different time zones can be hard. But if you can do that two to three times on a daily basis, that would be amazing. And you can gain a hell lot of experience. The cumulative experience of 10 officers gaining from attacking one of these guys can end up getting you millions, about 2.5 million on a daily basis if you do this only two to three times. If you do this four times, then you can get easily three to four million on a daily basis. And they require zero action points, and that's the beauty of it. You're not spending any action points. You're getting millions of experience, cumulative, uh, like on different officers, which you will upgrade. And I'm pretty sure that you have a bunch of officers that needs to be upgraded. You can easily get 10 officers to uh, higher levels using this technique. Now, for the eighth hack that I want to share with you today is how to get unlimited action points for free. Well, the way to do that is that you have to find invaders that are close to each other in like this sort of this perimeter. Now, the way you do that is using the battleship. You have to have the battleship on your main march. You attack this invader and the battleship radius, your, your, your troops have to be over here. The battleship radius will attract this invader by attacking it with the radius without having to spend a single action point. So you would be taking two invaders at a time with only 50 action points. Now this trick over here can be applied to a huge amount of invaders. And the way you can do that is actually by spawning invaders that are right next to you. For example, if you don't see any invader that is like, for example, level 22, you just spawn that invader. And sometimes they end up spawning like this. So this is amazing. Why? Because you can also take two invaders at the same time because this one was originally here, but this one just spawned because you already activated the research one. And this way you would have two invaders with only one or 50 action points. Now you can expand this on so many different invaders. If you have like multiple invaders running around, I'll leave a card at the top where we did a, an eight streak invader on a certain event that was on the server, on the counter attack event basically. And if you want to learn how to do that and uh, learn more about this trick, I'll leave that card at the top. You can check that video after this one for sure. For the last hack, and this is mainly for players who are trying to create new accounts or are just simply new to the game. Now, this hack is called creating a jumper account. Now, a jumper account is by simply is going into creating an account in a server that is winning SVS right now. Now, once the server wins SVS, they will win some amazing rewards at the end of it. So you create that account the moment that these rewards are distributed and these rewards are distributed to every single member of that server. Now, having that in mind, you will get all these rewards for free and then you use your beginner's teleport to teleport to a newly established server that just started. This way you will have a couple of days of ahead time, a hell lot of rewards from SVS, and you will have also gathered some troops, upgraded your officers and attacked invaders on a daily basis. So you will have your base established to at least 500 to 600K power when a server just started a couple of minutes ago. Now this trick is requires a lot of coordination and if it's done in huge numbers, then that could be devastating for that server because you can have it like do this trick with like 100 to 200 players and that server will be extremely devastated once 200 players that uh, did jumper accounts join that server and create like one single uh, very strong guild. Uh, even if they were all free to play players, they would still have a huge advantage over everyone else. Now, if you want to know more details about this uh, like jumper account, how to create a jumper account and all the details behind uh, the teleportation and whatnot, we will gonna make a dedicated video, probably posting it in the next couple of days. So we'll definitely link that in the description below once it's posted so that you guys would know exactly the details and mechanisms about how to do this trick. If you have learned a single hack today, uh, or any new thing that you thought interesting, I would highly appreciate it if you leave a like and write a comment below. Maybe you also have some hacks for your own you want to share with the community. Then the comment section is yours. Show us what you know about the game that everyone else needs, could be interested in. And uh, thank you so much for watching and we will definitely see you on the next video. As always, Eagle out.